Barry Keon, who of course appeared as the Joker just briefly in The Batman, was recently talking about the development of the Penguin TV series, and of course The Batman Part 2 and beyond, and he said that things are looking good for him returning as the Joker, and that there might be a bright future for his version of the character. So quite obviously, Barry Keon is not able to spoil what the film is about, his involvement, and the trajectory of his character, which I think a lot of people always assume a lot of actors just know everything, because he doesn't. The last update we had is that they're still working on the script, and they know, like, the primary focus of the film, but the finer, more minor details have not been worked out. And the most recent updates we got in regards to this universe was that the Arkham Asylum series, which he would have been a part of, was in fact cancelled. And they're not moving forward with it, but there is another TV series in development. So when Keon was asked about all this, he believes that he will be involved in the Batman franchise going forward, but he doesn't know on what front and to what extent. But there's definitely stuff in the works. Now I think it's pretty safe to say that if he's not like the primary focus of Batman 2, probably Batman 3 or somewhere about there, he'll be as important as, you know, a supporting character can be and maybe on equal footing. And also you got to consider how do they tie this into the whole dark side of Gotham that we don't know about, that they keep talking about where we're going to find out new stuff and they're clearly going in a Court of Owls type direction. How does Joker fit into that picture, you know? So I think that there's a lot here that he probably has an idea about that hasn't been confirmed to him, and the stuff that has been confirmed to him has clearly changed. Because again, with the cancellation of the Arkham and the Gotham TV series, where he was going to be a primary focus of one of them, and partially in the second one, again, it's an issue, and I think them downsizing projects and going in a different direction makes sense. So, I'm not too uh, worried about him not being Joker, because there's no way that this Batman doesn't face a Joker. Like, it's a foregone conclusion. If there is a Batman project, he will face the Joker, and it has to happen. It's just how it goes. So, it sounds like that we're definitely going to see him in Batman Part 2, but to what extent, we don't know. Oh. 